you just got procreate and feel completely lost, frustrated, and helpless when it comes to blending? When I decided to make that transition from paper to iPad, I felt like the worst illustrator in the world. And I know I'm not the best, but I'm pretty sure I'm not the worst. So on this video, I'm gonna show you the best and easiest way to blend skin on Procreate. But first, let's talk about the brushes, because I saw a lot of artists selling their own sets and I ended up buying like 50 different brushes and not improving my technique at all. So for coloring, I'm gonna use the hard brush from the airbrush set. And I like this brush because it's pressure sensitive. So you can make strokes more or less intense without changing the opacity. And that is great to achieve the perfect blending. To smudge, I'm gonna use the soft brush from the same airbrushing set. I like this brush on lower opacity to have more control when blending. Now let's pick a base color and create another layer for our base under the square I have drawn here. Then I set my drawing layer as reference to use the drag and drop feature on my base layer. Now I don't need my drawing as a reference anymore, so let's create another layer for the shadows on top of my base layer. If you watch my video on how to color skin, you've seen that I like to use one base color, two shadow colors, and one highlight color. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. Note how I change the pressure towards the lighter side to make my blending easier. Now let's go to the smudge tool and set the size and opacity. When I smudge, I try to do small circles and I start from the darkest side of the drawing towards the base color. In this case, it would be from right to left. If you don't know, this tool pushes the color around, so that's why we always start with the darkest side of the shadow. See how the color is being pushed outside the lines? If you make a mistake, it's okay because you're working on a separate layer, so you can erase or delete the layer and start all over again. Now this step is optional. You change your painting tool to soft brush and spray over with the same color we used for shadowing, only on the parts you think need some retouching. Sometimes this step is not necessary, but it's good to know how to fix those little spots. Let's open another layer for my second color of shadows and pick a darker color. Pick the hard brush again and repeat all the steps. I know at the beginning it looks like there are too many steps, but with time you'll do it faster. That's why I created this technique, because I don't like spending too much time correcting my mistakes. And in fashion design, you have to be quick. Also, I thought this is an app that has been tested many, many times before being released. So it was impossible not to achieve a simple blending with the standard tools. Although I have to confess that now I use my own brushes, these two brushes are great for this. Just remember to adjust the brush size and the opacity when needed. Now I'm really happy with the shadows. So let's start with the highlights. I always go for yellowish tones, but it depends on your color palette and your style. Then I go to the touch-up set and pick the noise brush. This brush gives your illustrations the effect of pores. You can buy other brush sets for coloring skin, but this one is the one I use the most. Now I apply the color on the lighter side of the illustration from left to right, always controlling the size and opacity. And I think that's it. Let's try it on a human illustration. Let me pick one of my Zodiac Girls that you can download for free on my Gumroad profile. I'm gonna leave the link down below so you can practice your blending after watching this video. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe or leave me an emoji in the comment section down below. That way, I will know that you'd like to see more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. See you next time.